Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can make a health bar real quick. <coughs> so I've just got a platformer here, very simple. I've got a platformer, player, and over here I've got some enemies. I'm just going to move one of these guys over here just to show you uh, how to do this. So here I've just got an object. It's literally health bar and it's just a horizontal object. I'm going to drag this in and I'm going to put it where I want the health bar to be. And then when I play it, you will see the health bar doesn't move with my character. So, what am I going to do to fix this? <coughs> well, uh, I'm going to make a new layer. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm just going to call it GUI because, yeah. And then when we play it, you'll see this doesn't work. All right, <laughs> that's great. So, the reason that is because we haven't put it in the GUI layer. Now we've put it in the GUI layer. There you go. It is now um, set to the top left of our screen. So what are we going to do? We're going to add... No, we're not going to do that. We're going to go to the object variables and we're going to make a variable for our player. This we'll just call health. And we're going to set it to 100, let's say. So now we have that. I've already done a player is in collision with enemy. Um, I'm going to add an action to this and I'm going to uh, do it so that it takes away um, some health. So I'm going to go to uh, common actions for all objects and then go to variables and here is where you'll find the variable of an object. Not in these variables, these are for scene variables and global variables. Over here is where you want object variables. So I'm going to select player, I'm going to click on the health uh, variable, I'm going to set it. I'm not going to set it to it, I'm going to subtract by, let's say, 50. And so now whenever we hit an enemy, it will subtract 50 from that variable. But it won't do anything to the health, as we'll see, because the health isn't being updated when it subtracts 50. Which we, which is what we want it to do. Um, so we're going to make a new condition. We're going to... Um, a new event even we're gonna leave the condition and we're just gonna add an action this action is going to be scale on the x-axis for the health bar we're going to set it to the player dot variable and then we're going to do health now well this is just one line of code does you can also select it by going into here and then clicking on uh, variables and then click on this and choosing player and then the variable and then okay and now add in the same um the same piece of code but what this does is this just uh, updates the uh, variable health to the sprite health bar <coughs> and it does that every frame which is usually 60 times a second so now if we play it you'll see that whenever we hit an enemy it will minus it from 50 and but it's so big that it does half of it and then the other half just goes straight down to zero so we're gonna uh, have to make it smaller and to do that you can just divide it by a number so let's just do 25 so divide it by 25 and that slash is a divide so now you, you can see in the top left it has gone smaller so something we can use and then if i walk into the enemy it will uh, subtract 50 each time i do it and that's how make a simple health bar you can then do this uh, for when you hit like a potion or you use a potion you can then add 50 <coughs> um, yeah yeah so that is how you make a health bar hope this helps you all in your quests to make good games yeah goodbye